everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. Today we're going to carry on with pneumatic craft repressurized and we're going to build some uh, machines to make better plastic. I've been getting plastic from the uh, magnetic craft refineries but nowhere near enough because you need to make, I actually need rather a lot of this. So let's start and get on with doing this. So what we need are these things. Where these therm thermoneumatic processing plants uh, and what these do is they basically convert let's have a sneak and have a look so basically it's converting different fuels into um, higher level fuels, fuels as it were and then eventually you can use LPG and coal and this will make plastic and then we need actually make it's quite a lot of plastic because I've been testing it out so let's start and put one of these down they need basically heat and they need power so I've got a space here which I'm planning to use so let's just put this one down here and I'm going to put this down and it should have some fuel in it already it's probably got I think this one's got gasoline in I hope fully it's got gasoline in yeah it has and when we reprocess this one here it's going to take this gasoline and produce um, LPG so let's get this up and running so what we need for doing this you've got some problems you see so there's no pressure and it also needs this got no heat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more vortex things uh, have I got them with me I think I've got them here look these vortex um, so they actually fall vortex tubes I'm going to put them against the side of this like this if I can <laughs> and of course it's always the wrong way around and I think I can use the uh, the standard ordinary hammer from uh, immersive engineering as well to rotate these you can't do everything with this one but you can I think rotate them with this so let's rotate it with this like that so that means it's got the cold face on this side what we need is the hot face and on the other side of course what we do is we put the uh, heat sink so it ke keeps it cool in other words keeps keeps this side hot so this then needs um, some pressure so well, you can see I've got a pipe here which I've, I've blocked off so let's just put the pipe down and I'll show you how to block the pipes off so when you're taking things apart you can actually take things apart like this you'll see that doesn't connect because I've blocked it off and what you have to do is to take the um, pneumatic wrench and right click this I don't think we can do this with a hammer oh we can haha <laughs> so then this is now going to get pressure and as you can see it's starting to get hot on this side in fact it tells you here it's already at a temperature of 240 like that and then this thing also needs pressure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag some pressure pipes from this from here and connect them into oh, this side over here like this so this is also getting pressure so now if we look at this you can see it's producing LPG so LPG by itself isn't that useful we have to add LPG with some coal and if we actually go back so what we need now is a second one of these processing plants which I've got here and this one's actually got LPG in it already because you know I was doing some testing and I want to completely waste your time when I'm doing this so look at this one here it's got plastic so it's taking LPG on one side and it's producing plastic so I need to put some coal in here like that and then it'll start making plastic it's got no room at the moment because it's full but uh, we need to do something else because it's not getting in any LPG into this even though the block below it is, is producing LPG. Um, is there any reason why it's stopped? Was it complaining about problems? Not enough heat. Ah oh, yes of course. All of these are actually turned off at the moment. I've, I've increased this to five and in this one here I've got a liquid processor which I've put some gasoline in. No diesel in this one. So I've got diesel in this one and I've got gasoline in that one and this one's got five speed upgrades and uh, security they should actually both have security ones I haven't put a security one in here yet let's put that in there these security upgrades prevent the machines from exploding which is what happened to it first time so now what I've done is I've changed this as well so all of these are now set to being redstone on a low signal so basically this has to be off so what I've got here is I've got this pressure gauge coming out of this and this is giving a redstone signal. It only gives a redstone signal on its face. I haven't got any redstone with me. So it's only this side. So if I put some redstone down here, it wouldn't give it wouldn't receive the signal from this. So what it's got is here it's got a, a 
power of five. Now I've counted the blocks out here. So that when it gets to, that's five is giving one here. So when it comes along another four, so when it gets to nine, this then goes on. And I've done it, I've turned the switch on. So at the moment this goes on and then turns this off. Because at the moment it's low. See, that's the low signals coming in here. So these are all running. So as the pressure increases, so the next one will be five, uh, it, looks, it doesn't take very long actually to increase. You can see it probably increasing. So look, can we see it on here? 3.1, yeah, it's going up fairly fast. 3.2 bar. And as it increases, so that's now moved along here. And when it gets to there, it'll be about 4.5 bar, which is what I want. I need 4.5 bar because if I put a stack of iron into here, the pressure chamber, um, you need about that to transfer it through the things. So this is uh, through the through the valves or through the, the I/O bits. And then when this reaches 4.5 bar, these are going to turn off. And I've, just for safety measure, I've got a safety valve here as well. So now this should be working. You can see this is nice and hot again, and this should be pumping fuel into here, but it's not pumping it up. For that, you need a dispenser upgrade. So we could put a dispenser upgrade in here. Um, we can also probably put in a security upgrade as well, just to be on the safe side. So now when we look at this, we should start to be getting LPG in here. You can see it's going up 80 each go, like that. And then with coal. So what we do is the same thing in here. We'll put in a security upgrade and a dispenser upgrade. And then we'll feed this output into some pipes going into the plastic thing here. So I've got already set up a metal barrel. So I've got some uh, fluid pipes from immersive engineering. So let's just connect these onto this. I don't need to have anything except for that because it will push it into the pipes. So I shift right click this lot on there. And this has to go in the, on the top side of this. Oops, huh. nearly got up, didn't I? Right, okay. So it's got to go in the... You can't put the feed these tanks from the sides. So you've got to come in from the top like that. And then we can bring this across like that. Uh, if you can hear the background noises, it's a bit noisy. <laughs> because there's a lot of building going on around me, which is... Uh, driving me a little bit crazy. Anyway, so that'll then feed this out of here. So there, there's no space at the moment. So if we look in here, this tank is full. Uh, I need a bucket, don't I? This plant, plant, uh, tank is full. I put a liquid um, hopper in here. That's also full. You can right click. You can right click that. Oh, actually, I just right clicked it, didn't I? So you'll see I've got a bucket of plastic in here now. And then that's feeding that into here. So I won't be able to put that liquid plastic back in here, so it's all full. So I can get lots of plastic to play with, which is good, because the next thing we're going to do is we want to build the assembly stuff in here. And for that, not this isn't too expensive, except for these bits where you need uh, six pieces of plastic for two. So you need three for each one. And then you need a cannon barrel. Cannon barrel, is, again, is a quite a lot of this compressed iron. So we're using quite a lot of compressed iron. Now, why do we want to do this, of course, is the important bit. If we have a look on, um, I think it's probably on the laser. If we look at the right click on the laser, what we can do with the laser is we can make PCB, unassembled PCB boards. We can make advanced pressure tubes. Now, that's really what we're, at, we're aiming at, the advanced pressure tubes. We can make these amorphic, amorphic, Morphism tiles, which basically allow you to write text at any size and it'll scale any text. And if, and you can actually produce from some compressed iron, you can also produce some advanced pressure chips with the assembly laser and drill. But then we need more machines for that. So it's quite an expensive process, this. And for these ones, we need basically the, the drill we need. So we need the... Why do we need eight and nine? That's a bit of a strange one. So we need eight for the drill, and probably eight and eleven from the from the laser. Now you can do village trades, which might be cheaper if we can find a mechanic. I haven't found a mechanic yet, so I don't know. So this one here is a combination of these two. So we need a fair few emeralds for doing this, but we should be able to go and make these machines. So what do we need? I think let's go to the assembly area and crafting area and I'll see you in a second when I'm there 
Right, here we are. So we need one of these machines to start with, the assembly controller. So I should have everything we need for that, pressure tubes and whatever else, with these three printed circuit boards. So we can make one of those. I think I'm going to be a bit short of space. Let me just put something in into this chest here. Let's put the, the bone meal away. So the next one we're going to need, we're going to need a laser or a drill. I'm not, I think we need to do the laser. Let's have a look at the recipe for this. This one's the laser, yes. Nah, I think we need the drill to be honest with you. Because the drill is the one that makes the PCB boards. Now I'm going to be doing, I make them both anyway. So we'll need, this is the, the drill. So again, we need one of these, one diamond and two pieces of compressed iron. I think we need a couple of diamonds. <laughs> Looks like I'm a bit low on diamonds, but I've got a few, don't worry. So let's do that one and make one of these. So that's the second part. Now we need two I.O. assembly units in here. Uh, what am I missing from this one? Probably hoppers. So let's make some hoppers. Do that again. Oops, no. Missed. Try again should be able to make a couple of hoppers for this one so we need to make two of these if we can which we can just uh, so we've got two assembly IO units and then well actually I think that's possibly about it but we so therefore we can make the, the laser as well so let's make the laser that needs red dye that's no problem that's cheaper so we've got the laser is that the five bits we need oh no we need this assembly platform so the assembly platform needs some orange dye, which you haven't yet got. So, so it is only the orange dye, so for plastic, I mean. So we're just going to make some orange plastic very quickly. Um, so we need three pieces of that. In fact, I'll, it's night time and it's raining, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. I'm not getting too much lag from that. So all we need to do to make orange dye is come along here and with those three colours we can make the orange plastic so we want three pieces of this and I have no space whatsoever which is uh, not sensible let's, see, let's put the diamond over here put the plastic in there I can't put the plastic in here at the moment because it's full and that's full uh, and this will be full too so let's just have a look as you can see this is also full in fact, it's used up three pieces of coal, so that means it's used up three pieces of plastic. But if I'm quick enough, I might be able to do it this way. So let's get one, two. Uh, no, I have got no space whatsoever. I should go and cook this thing up, shouldn't I? I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just put the diamond into there and then put this failed PCB. Because a failed PCB, we can put in to cook it again and we'll get an, an unassembled PCB. So let's try that again. So I just click that twice and that's no problem. Maybe I can put some of this now into it. Oh, oops. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> well, you know, it's probably not very good. So if I pick it up. What happened there? Oh, that's better. My goodness, that's uh, making a mess. It doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to hurt. I wonder if it's producing pollution or any, any sort of description like that. Seems to be another source block there. That's uh, interesting. How come I've got a second source block? Because I've got a second bucket of plastic. Brilliant. Right, there we go. No, that's not too bad. Unlike gasoline and things like that, which is really bad, you don't want to get those around. And I've got two of those buckets of that stuff around. Shame. Right, I would have to break the pipe in order to do that. It would be more sensible. Right, let's go back now and fix that one. So it's just this assembly platform we need now, doesn't it? So now we've got all the components that we need for to, to assemble this up, except for we need these two. So now we need to basically need... I'm not sure exactly what this one. We've got two different recipes in here. So anyway, let's see if we can actually go and do this. So I have got the tablet somewhere, probably in the other place in the chest there so let's go and get that and is there anything else I need from in here I think I'm okay and some emeralds I do need some emeralds so I've got none in there but and but I have got emeralds about and I think they're in here like this so we can put a few of these down 
what I I really haven't got a problem with emeralds or never will have because I found emeralds in the other in the other base. So let's go to the luck pickaxe and just break these. In fact, it might be a good idea to stand in some water and do that in here. Because you can see how fast this is. When you're actually standing in water with this aqua compared to that, obviously a bit not such a good idea. So I've got twenty two which is enough. So let's put these back again. So we need uh, possibly 20. So let's go and try and see what happens. It's just coming up to morning again, so we've spent the night working without too much uh, mobs around, which is great. Now, I think the tablet is in this chest here. What I should do is I want to build some more armour for myself at some stage of the game. Um, here we go. I haven't got space in this chest here. I've got space in this chest here, haven't I? So what do we do with this thing again? Ah, oh, yes, it's set up in here. So now I think if I put in here, let's have a look. Oh, 14 will give us this one. That's probably much cheaper because they were both 8. So we need to put select this one. 14. I think I have to put the emeralds in here first of all. Because 14 is 27, which is cheaper than what we got. Now, I should be able to do this this time. Oh, yes, there we go. So it's now the highlighted. So I can get this one here. And right click is selling that one basket. Place order. So I right clicked it. So it gets a one on it. And now I can place the order. In fact, you can get, you can do it the other way around as well, can't you? You can place oil in here. Five buckets will give me emeralds, lubricant. Two buckets, kerosene, carrots. Oh, I haven't actually bothered looking at this at all, so let's have a quick look at here what we get, can do. This is 10. Why is this 10? <laughs> well, I hadn't realised, so let's cancel this order, left click it. Good. It is the same thing, isn't it? Looks like it to me. Having a quick concentrate here, so yeah, that looks okay. Let's do then. We'll place the order of this one. Place the order for that. Let's stand back a bit. We should see the the drone coming along. There he is. Look, flying straight into here. It is taking the emeralds away. <laughs> that he did see. Now there should be one who's maybe he's dropped it in here already. Nope, not yet. I have to wait for him to come back with it. With the bits, hopefully he will do. Oh yes, there he goes, look. So now we have this program, fantastic. So, next thing. Actually, I'll just put this away. I don't need this tablet with me anymore. In fact, I don't need these eight emeralds. So I've saved a few emeralds doing that. That's quite good. Oh. Actually, I haven't plugged this in, have I? So that was... Uh, I need to plug this in as well with some pi pipes, which I forgot to do. Well, this time we, we don't really need to do that. Let's just get the other bit set up. I think here is a place we can do this. Now, well, if I remember rightly, and this has been a long time since I did this, and anyway, I did, last time I did this, it was with a straightforward pneumatograph before pneumatograph... Um, Repressurized came along. So there we've got, we put this one down onto the pipes and then we can stick the machines. Now we need to change one of these and I think we simply shift it. Oh, hit it with the wrench to change the modes. Okay. So we need to take an input and an output and they need to be connected onto this thing. So let's put this down here like that. And then we can take the wrench right click that and then it goes blue to being an input device i think it's fairly standard colors in minecraft blue and orange blue is nearly always input and orange is always output nearly always so then we need to set up these two uh, blocks between the assembly platform so i think we have to put the assembly platform next to this like that and then we can have a laser on, on one side of this and a drill on the other side of it so there's the IO unit. 
I'm just thinking if I could get the IO unit to be here, which I think I probably could do. We can put a chest in the middle between those two. So all I need now is the, and it doesn't really matter where I put them. What I remember, as long as they're touching, everything's connected together, then it sort of forms its multi-block structure. And I do know that this is fairly slow. So now we need a chest of some description. Let's, maybe I've got a chest over here. If not, I will come quickly, go and pick one up quickly. Right, I haven't got one. All right, I'll be back in a second when I've got a chest. Right, I actually built a, a crate from him. So this is now in standby mode. So if we now right click this here, we've got enough pressure, fantastic. So we need to put the program in it here. So this will do it then. So now it's green, so we've got no problems. So for example, I would like to make these into, split this into three. Oops, try again. Four in this case, don't I? So each one of those makes, um, I think this is possibly the best way to do it. Each one of these will make an eight advanced pipes. So let's put this into this chest here. Now, what does it tell me? Do I have to select a recipe? Oh no, I don't have to select a recipe. I just put it in and there it goes. It picks the stuff out. I know it's very slow and it actually tells me it's running. Look, and I need to put some speed upgrades into this. So it puts the blocks down here and then it's going to start making some bits and pieces. Now one nice thing about this, and the fact it's extremely slow, <laughs> we shall watch it. Um, if I just stand over here maybe we can watch a bit better yeah that's the laser that's working away now um making those and then i think oh yes that's right we don't need to drill this one or is that the drill because i'd already used i didn't use compressed iron blo blocks so that's this task done so we can put some more of these into here now i built those specifically for that job so as soon as this finishes as you can see it will get these back into the chest and it'll start again now of course this is great because what this means is we can then upgrade all of these blocks in here so we don't have to worry about doing stuck at um 10 so i can take uh, five bars so we can go up to 20 bars with these pipes but also and the reason i did this is another use for this oh i've got an achievement what is that tearing it up exactly the next tier of pneumatic craft repressurized what we can do with this <clears throat> is we can make a different generator now did i bring the generator with me i didn't i'll be back in a second i need the generator well it wasn't that i needed that so it happens i need the advanced pressure chips because what i'd like to make was the flux compressor now we need two more circuit boards for that ah i've forgotten to make the circuit boards um, we also need a furnace, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's get the furnace made. What else do we need that we can do in here? We need this turbine rotor. Now that's made with three turbine blades, which are gold and redstone in a compressor. So we'll need to go and make three of those. So we need th three gold and six redstone. We also need the redstone for the... Um, let's take a stack of this. Gold, we need three and we need some compressed iron. I'm not sure I've got enough compressed iron with 10. What have we got in here? Let's just have a look. No, I've still got only 10. Have we got any compressed iron in here? It doesn't look like I have. I probably need to make some more compressed iron. Uh, uh, let's make sure we've got some iron with us and we'll go and make some more. Uh, it's something I seem to be having to do quite a lot of making compressed iron. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, a huge amount, as I would say. Every time I come along here, I'm taking another stack of this stuff out of here. So let's go make the turbine. Because we've got actually plenty of power. What I should be doing with this power, because it's solar generated, is to apply, uh, to store it during the night, during the day. Because, of course, it's not running at night time. And do it that way. So what we need to do now, and this is what I've changed this as well. So we've got the input, the omnidirectional hopper on one side there, and on the other side we've got an, I've got another hopper, and I've moved this from being the bottom to being 
on this side really I'd probably like to do it again and put the pressure going in at the bottom there so at the moment we've got four and a half bar now four and a half bar is just about enough to put a whole stack of this stuff in so we can put a whole stack of iron in here but before I do that I want to make sure I'm not getting anything out of it now what I've done to do this I put some hop uh, some I just put some treated wood in here just just to fill it up and at the moment there shouldn't be anything in this one and I've actually got a filter so I'm compre I'm only filtering out that so that's good so let's put into here a stack of this stuff uh, iron again and this should go through we also need three gold and six of these We also need some um, blue plastic. I think we need some redstone for that. I'm going to have to make two, two sets for this, for these. And then we're going to need some black plastic. Now, these should not come out, but they should go into the filter, as you can see now, this is sort of converting nicely to compressed iron and that should be ending up in this here and it's got no place for this to go at the moment so it's going to stay there which is good because then it's going to basically allow us to put the other ingredients into here so we need to put in six of these let's just put that in there and i think that's what we need for the the rest of it and then we should be getting the conversion going through here of the different bits so the redstone yeah, you can see the things being converted to rotor blades and then we need to get the transistors and stuff like that so hopefully we should be able to see these coming out of here like that and this last bit should be three pieces of plastic blue pl oh I got the wrong plastic didn't I I need the cyan plastic and I put in blue doesn't matter I put in blue I need the cyan so we need six of these Oops, try again. You can recycle the plastic as well, that's also quite nice. If you put plastic into here, coloured plastic, it will so long as you reach this temperature, it says twenty two, which is rubbish. But if you reach so long as you reach this temperature, then it'll convert that back into liquid form. So now we should have everything we need, I think. I've got one piece of compressed iron. Oh, yeah, probably it's because it's floating around here. So all we now need to do is to remove this filter from here and then remove an item from here. And then, just, and then it's going to keep... We can flick, flick these out of here as they come through. And I'll put it back in again when it's finished. So that's what I've got in here. See, now I've got the six tran black transistors and then we need the six uh, blue capacitors in order to make these things just double check that I've got that right the uses of this yeah it's just a crafting recipe so we've got our other 21 which is short of three actually that's strange maybe it's coming out the next time so we should get the rotor blades coming out now good and I think I hope let's have a look if we can see this thing again we've got a blue plastic come out as well so let's get rid of that and then that might be it. It looks like I lost some. I wonder where that's gone to. Or maybe I didn't lose it. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I didn't put enough in. So now we can go and craft this into um, this flux compressor. So the flux compressor can also generate 20 bar, which is great. So I think I've got enough of everything we need this time. So let's try and do that one. So the flux compressor, so we've got, we'll make this one next. So we've got our rotors. We've got unassembled PC boards, let's do those ones, let's do the uses of that one. So I should be able to make two assembled PCB boards. And then we need, what do we need? One, all we need is this one, which is four iron. I don't think we can do that any other way, we've got to craft it. We should be able to stick this through the immersive engineering. The, die press as well that would be quite nice and one block of redstone so that's easy enough let's get the recipe for this one 
Hopefully I've got enough redstone in here. I have, yes, I have, good. So there we go. So we've now got our flex, flux compressor. Let's have a look at this. And I've got, what have I got there? Advancement made, F-E-R-F-I. I don't know if it's got micro I, I'm not sure what that one was. And CF. So let's have a look at this. So this can, so we use redstone flux. And it has an efficiency of 40%. The RF rate is twice the amount of flux used to generate air. And its maximum pressure is 20 bar. Great. So now we can go and connect this up to the system. And I think we'll do it the same way. We'll remove one of these generators I've got running here. Hopefully they're turned off now. If one of them's turned off, we can do it that way. See, it's flashing on and off. So let's just turn it on. And that stops all of these. So this one's got 29, this one's got 28, and it's so it's 26. This one looks like the one that's going to be finished first, which it is, and then it's gone out, you can see. So we can use this one, this space here like that. And I should still be able to do the, the same trick. I'm hoping I can. So we put this down here like that. And then we need to say we want this on low. So it won't work when it's got and it's on low. Temperature is 22 degrees. We could put some upgrades in here, I guess. Um, I don't think I need to put any upgrades in here for the other one. And then it needs power. So let's. How do we give this power? Ah, oh, it's the wrong way around. I have to rotate it because you see there is a hole on this side. So I need to get it on the other side. So maybe I just have to rotate this round. Nope. Oh, it does yep? I did rotate. It was just slow. So now this is the rotator. So we now just give this power. I think I'm not sure how much power it takes, but we've got a, a connector over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pole down here and a relay, and I'll see, see you in a minute when that's ready. Well, I've put the pillar in, and I've got some high voltage cabling. So I've got to be very careful. And unfortunately, I have actually remembered to put my Faraday suit on, so I'm not going to get zapped by power. So we're going to go over here now and just connect this up, and hopefully, I think I can connect it to this one, like that. It will run. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. So at the moment, yes, it's got it's full powered, uh, and I've got no idea how much RF this this one produces. Or RF. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. How am I going to do this? I'm just going to break this one here like that. And then this will be low, so it then should be producing power. What does it say? Input? Oh, it's only using 14. 80 RF per ticks maximum. So that would quite happily run on something else. Um, does it tell me it's producing power? No problems. So it should simply be producing power because it's low signal. It's got, it should have a low signal now. So the bar pressure should be going up here. Yeah, there it is. It's a, so it's definitely working. The next thing to do is we're going to take the speed upgrades out of here and put them into this, and that should also increase the rate this is producing power at. I've still left the same system, even though now we can go up to 20 bar, and you can see this is going up actually fairly quickly, as you can see. So it's using it's using a reasonable amount of power. Let's go and have a look. Just check the power. On this one what's it using now so it's using oh well that's okay <laughs> so the more speed upgrades you put in the higher the, the amount of rf that you need which is good because i'm just now almost at the top level of magnet the uh, immersive engineering's um medium voltage so if i put more of these in we'll get some there so the temperature is now 63 that's interesting what does that mean heat requires or produces heat the heat can be applied to placing a block ah, okay so we can actually think of vortex tubes so we can use a vortex tube for doing this as well okay something different now i have to watch this heat so maybe what i've got to do then is to put a um a cool heat sink on it to cool it down <laughs> we shall see or maybe i put these vortex tubes over here well that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed.
you enjoyed it. Next episode, we're going to start looking at logistics. You can just see in my hand, I've got an, a, a logistics, some logistics bits and pieces. We'll look at how to do those and what that actually can do for us. Ultimately, what I'd like to do with this mod is to get the um, drones working. So with a drone, what I'd like to do with the drone is also make it fly around and break glass from pollution. So anyway, that's what I'd like to do. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.